slash two wheel drive to co somewhat compete in RC indoor clay track racing. Um, uh, sorry, my nose is actually really stuffed up right now. So, uh, what I have done to this truck so far is the hot racing gearbox, the STRC front and rear aluminum shock towers in blue, Proline Racing Extending Body Mounts, uh, STRC Front Hub Carriers and Caster Blocks, as well as a few new things I've added as you can see here. I have some new stuff. My tags fell over. Uh, the tags are just to kind of show you what are I put on the truck that I have tags for, that um, just so I can get part numbers and whatnot. So we'll start with the stuff I have in the bags. First of all, this is Traxxas's idler gear, the machined aluminum idler gear, 30 tooth. Part number of that is 1996X. Um, don't worry about part numbers, guys. I'll put them in the description below, so you don't have to worry about that. Second thing is the planetary gear diff from Traxxas. This does not include gears. That's why it's not installed. Um, this part number is 2381X. Third thing are the Panther bearings. These go in your front and rear hubs as well as your transmission. Uh, these were 10 bucks for 10 bearings, so they're a dollar a piece. Better than Traxxas, which are actually $2 a piece, so about half price for the bearings. Part number of that is B511410R. Once again, will be in the description. Finally are the transmission pegs for the bearings. This, the part number on these are 3995X. Finally, I'll get to these. Um, I did end up putting on the plastic uh, half shaft, dry shafts, just to get started with. MIPs will be going on eventually, I hope. But I'm just trying to get it. This is the build stage, and then the upgrade stage will be next. Um, after to get everything running. Those are part number 6852X. Second thing is the Traxxas aluminum uh, wheel nuts, which I actually have one to show you guys right here. There they are. Just a nice blue aluminum wheel nut serrated back to really hook onto those wheels well. Uh, I had that to show you guys. Uh, Part number on that is 1747R. I believe those are 750. They're a little more than you would think for wheel nuts, but they work well. Uh, finally, something I don't have a part number for, but I will definitely find and put in the description. These are actually uh, slash four wheel drive hexes. So the reason I went for these is they actually work so I can have the tires all the way around instead of having to have different offsets. And so it also helps me, I'm able to rotate my tires front to rear as well as right to left, if I so choose. Um, these are just a 12 millimeter blue aluminum hex with a 1.5 millimeter set screw in the top to clamp down well on any on your uh, hubs better. Other than that though guys, uh, I have also gone for J Concepts tires. They Here's one to show you up close. This one does not have the cap in. Tell me if you guys like the spokes or the caps better. Um, I can't really decide for myself right now. I keep going back and forth. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. These are J Concepts barcodes in the soft uh, compound. This is the gold compound. Um, stock foams. These are just J Concepts rims. Uh, 12 millimeter hex. Just standard. So there's the spoked uh, rim. And here's the same rim and tire with the dish in, the black dish. Tell me which one you guys think looks better um, in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, that's where the slash is for now. And it is still on. It's just coming slowly but surely. We'll get finished. I'm hoping to throw 8.5 system, hopefully a cheaper one, maybe a... Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe... Uh, some sort of uh, easy run or something like that. Something around the $150 range for ESC and motor. Uh, guys, tell me what you've had good luck with as far as sensor 8.5 systems and 
Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.